Hello, my name is Ian Lee. Welcome to youtube.com slash Ian Lee. Please click subscribe, click like, and also click the bell to know when I post something new. Enjoy. We're going to get Bob up. Now, somewhere across the country. Oh, I haven't got the right picture either. Hang on a minute. There ah. is a man sitting at a computer waiting for something to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to click this and he should just... All right, you can't start the video. That's okay. So he should just be like there. Right. Hello, hello, Bob. Can you hear us? He's not there. I mean, but now, now part of me is worried that I've done something. Why don't you give him a ring and talk him through it? I knew this was going to go this way. Let's find out Bob Mortimer and... Um... Let's do it the, um, the O-F-W. Oh, old-fashioned okay. way. All right. Okay. Or is old-fashioned one word? Um, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it's hyphenated. Yeah. Ring up. Hang on, I wonder if he's on WhatsApp. Yeah, he's on, he's on WhatsApp. Bob Mortimer has entered the waiting room. Yes. Hang on. Should we just... Mug him off. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey! hey. Hello, Bob. You can't. <laughs> this is Bob's resting face. Hello, Bob. Can you hear us? Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We're just gonna we're gonna see this. We can. You can hear us. We cannot hear you. Here we go. This is going to be. This is going to be great. Does he need to turn his audio? You need on? to click. You need to turn your mic. This is like um, when I do Zoom with my mum. There he is. Now, hang on. We. I don't think the listener can hear you for some reason. Oh, crying out loud! Hang can on. You hear me, Ian? I can hear you. Yeah. Hey, Catherine. Ah, oh, yeah. But I don't think the listener can hear you. So uh, what I need to do? Select a speaker. Hang on a minute. I'm going to fix it because this is the first. Here we go. Say hello, Bob. Hello, how are you doing, Bob? Yay! How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, um, I've watched several Sylvester Stallone films recently because I'm quite yeah. bored in lockdown. I watched the latest Rambo, which is called Rambo Last Blood. Righty ho. And then today I started watching The Cobra. I don't know what the Cobra is. Have you bought a Cobra, like <laughs> Nicolas Cage or something? No. Has he got a Cobra, Nicolas Cage? Yeah, a King Cobra. Or Cobra, maybe. I think it's probably Cobra. I always thought it was Cobra until I was doing a... Um, cobra uh, awareness course. <laughs> I was doing a thing for the, beer, for the beer company. Right. With June Sarpong. Right. And I was saying Cobra, and she was saying Cobra. Yeah. And I kept saying to her, I think you've got it wrong. Oh. And then the head of Cobra came over and said, oh, it's Cobra. Could you please correct yourself? Yeah, but that's the name of the organisation, Ian, not the, not the snake. It was, oh, so it's, diff it's a different well, we word. Know, Depends we what we're talking say. about. Apples Do you know oranges. I've had an encounter with um, a black mamba and a puff adder. So what do you think of that? I think, wow. I think you're a tough guy. <laughs> it's, tell us about Lynx Silvers, Smiths. Who's he? I don't know. It's on the poster behind you. Oh, sorry. It's the, it's a, one of my cat names. I thought it was a, just like a. If you had, you've got lovely little cats, haven't you? Both four, of you. Yes. Four cats. Do you, but do you know if you had a really classy one like Link Silversmith? Just thought it was a good name. <laughs> Are you still selling cat names? Yes, I do sell them for eight pounds each. <laughs> I've got there's a whole list up there. I think Mark, I got up oh, there. I've got Machine Wash Paul. What about, what about Ian's mum for you? What about Eric's mum's dentist? <laughs> that would work. It's very so, specific, that. How's it going, folks? It looks lovely. <laughs> no, it really looks, it looks lovely. Did you, have you managed to get, you've got Zoom working then? Because yeah, is that what I'm on, Zoom? Yeah. You're on Zoom now. Yeah. Um, and um, how, how are you finding, now, I'm guessing that you must be. Um, My wife's shouting at me, one sec. You're I'm wobbly. very wobbly, apparently, because it's it on, on my knee. knee. What are you doing? He's my wife just came in to say said that I'm very wobbly because it, see, this business, because it's <laughs> on my knee. Okay. Is there anything we can do to help? Could yes, she, I mean, could I, she hold it? Could she get... <laughs> could you rest it on her back? I don't know. <laughs> do you know, I know this will sound unusual, but my wife doesn't actually have a back. 
the best <laughs> thing, isn't it? That is unusual. <laughs> it, it's very unusual. So what, her neck's attached to her bum? Just, just, it's just a void. I don't know what, a portal, a, a space, <laughs> a cubby hole. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing you must be, what do they call it, at risk? Oh. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Are you vulnerable, Bob? I am vulnerable, yeah. Um, Can we but, explain um, that? <laughs> I, yeah, I've, I think so, yeah, people, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm beginning to look very old as well, so people do start being lovely to you. It's well worth getting older. People are so nice. And, that, yeah, and with the COVID things, yeah. people are always, are you all right, Bob? And they keep away from you. They, you know, they're spitting at all my friends. <laughs> well, I don't spit at Bob. Jeez, he's vulnerable. He's, he's a vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, because I've got heart disease. Have you had your heart checked, Ian? Um, I've had it broken many, many times, but I've not, I've not had it checked. Is that is that part of it? Part of of not of surviving. Is that part of surviving? Making it this far? <laughs> I've not had my heart checked. Well, how do they check it? Well, like, listen to it. No, that, that, that's the big like. Um, misnomer isn't no, that's the wrong word. People think if your heart beats good, then your heart's good, yeah. yeah. But with yeah, heart disease, heart. It's, your, it's your arteries that are blocked, and you don't know they're blocked till you till your heart packs in. So you need to have this thing called a treadmill test, where they they, they see how quickly your arteries are emptying. I was on the. You're knocking t- on a little bit, aren't you? I'm getting. I'm old. Well, how old are you? You got to be. Are you sixty <laughs> two? I'm sixty one. Uh, well, you look. You look. Um, but I was, on, <laughs> I was on the phone to someone today and I went out for a walk because I'm getting a little bit chunkier than I would like to be. And I went okay. out for a walk and I was on the I made the mistake of making a phone call at the start of the walk. And by the end of it, I had to, I was trying, you know, when you're out of breath, but you try and hold your breath. It makes so it worse. It doesn't sound like you're out of breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got you. I was doing that. Is that, is that heart disease, Bob? Classic sign of it, Ian. Sorry, but it is. If you ever, if if you, if you ever get a little bit of nausea after exercise as well, keep your eye on that. Um, Does that sound familiar? It's a, they, it's a simple check, you know, and then you'll know forever. Did they go? Did you? So what did they do? Did they? Did they cut you up? May God yeah. bless your soul. <laughs> do you want to see the scar? I would love to see your scar. Um, well, I'll do it from the top. Here's the big reveal. Oh, oh it's hard to get from the top. Sorry. You tell me if you're seeing it. Yeah. Then anything? There it is. Oh, oh there's not. It's it's quite. It's it's longer than that. But yeah. So the cut it's just in. Just cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a terrific fun as an operation. To be perfectly honest with you, you know you're knocked out and everyone makes the right fuss. And everything. General anaesthetic is the best thing, isn't it? Oh, I love going under. I've had two arms done and a knee recently. And they're some of the happiest times when you go under, aren't they? But then they wake you up. I, I had, and I don't want to go into details. <laughs> that is standard procedure, yeah. No, but I, I don't want to go into details, but I had a, a bum operation a few years ago. It's not even a joke. It sounds like a joke. Excuse me, Ian, but I'm very interested in it because fellas should talk about this. I've got problems with my bum. But what was yours prostrate or bum or, you know, I don't want to get, I know I'm not asking you to be too rude, but was it? I had. I know um, what it was. I, I, I had um, an anal fissure. It's always going on about Which is it. a tear uh, in my bum hole. Mm-hmm. Did some something or someone bite you or? Now you, now you are taking it too far. Now that is, you're treading into personal <laughs> bum territory. But yes. No, it's just that my lovely cat Gudmundsen, he got bit right on the, you know, the bullseye by a squirrel. And it, it's a terrible, terrible business. So I do feel, I do feel for you. Is that Ian. what happened to you? Exact, what did the squirrel look like? Oh, we didn't see the squirrel. The cat, okay. good monster came in. And I, I have to say, yes, I've assumed it as a squirrel. It could, you know. Could it have been your neighbour. Could have been a cheaper one camera. Of your, one of your kids. Yeah. It could have been like, a, do you know, like those Victorian characters who hang around daggers in alleyways yes oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone them. yeah um, um no mine was just through um bad bad living really yeah okay bad, bad but i but the, i had a general anesthetic what i had to stitch my bum up right and you're right we should talk about bums 
In fact, yeah. tomorrow is bum special. So I don't <laughs> want to give away too much, but tomorrow from nine, it's a bum special. And But the general anaesthetic is, yeah. the, is the best thing, because at this point, I, I had been clean and sober for about six or seven years. Right. So I hadn't had anything like that for a long time. And um, they gave me two injections. And she said, after the first injection, this is an anaesthetist, not just a random, after the first injection, you might feel a bit drunk, and then we give you a second injection and we knock you out. And mm. I'm thinking... Let me hold on to this first injection for as long as possible, please. Yeah, yeah. And she did in the first one, and my eyes started going like that. It was like popping around. It was brilliant. But then suddenly I was asleep, and then suddenly I was awake with a really sore bum. Oof. Yeah, but it's a lovely period. When you're out, it's really lovely, isn't it? Can't yeah. quite remember it, but it's it's really happy time. Mm. You know, there's no responsibilities. I'm not <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I wanted. I pro I said, "What do you want me to do?" A quiz, right? Yeah. And you, you didn't want me to do a quiz. I didn't really. say no to a quiz. No, but... that's that's true. But I just I've just asked my son, and it's quite a tricky one. And uh, Catherine and Ian, I mean, you might be interested in having a go. Okay. It's just simply in price order. M and S one Easy Iron shirt, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. M and S seven pack of cotton rich socks. M&S three pack of white standard underpants in price order. From highest to lowest or? You can go either way in, I don't mind. Okay. I would go from highest to lowest. <laughs> yeah, go on. Shirt. Let me just do some calculations. Pants. Mm -hmm. Socks. Socks are cheap. <laughs> Catherine? I don't know. I don't know. We've got any more description on the socks with the fancy ones? Oh, they, uh, they did have a... I'm just looking at it here. I think they said cotton rich. Cotton rich. I think okay. it said they were nice. We're not playing games here. Right, I reckon socks, shirt, pants. Well, which way? Um, high to low. Socks, shirts, pants. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get the reveal. The answer is three pack of briefs, 15 quid. Yeah. Seven pack of fresh... Oh, cool and fresh, the socks were. 12 quid. And the easy iron shirt, £11.25. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> This is what they call um, throwaway fashion yeah. and throwaway Fa entertainment. Fast, fast well. fashion. Fa well, the throwaway is, is what I said. And, it's not um, what they call it, though. Well, they're, they're wrong, is, is quite honestly what I'm Well, it is wrong. Did you, used to, did you used to have, wasn't there like a Bob Mortimer signature collection at Marks and Spencer's? Yes, did there you, was. Did, did you? I did. <laughs> yes. Me. Jimmy um, Carr. Me, Martin Freeman and Jimmy Carr. Wow. Like, the, the, the models for it. You know, for the, yeah, so like, not, what's the equivalent of the, like the boy next door for the middle-aged man next door, you know, like kind of non-threatening people, you know, we're not going to yeah. lamp the, you. The everyman. Everyman sort of characters, yeah. And we did that with um, David Bailey, the photographer. Wow. And he was um, very touchy-feely. Oh. Bit old school, much. isn't he? Very old school. Do you did get... he ask you to slip a strap down? All your friends are doing it. If you want to make it in this business, just got to show a little bit more. Sure. What be touchy feely? Did you get to keep um, David Bailey after it? To keep him? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. I said I'm, I, I'll look after you forever and ever, David. You'll just come and live under me sink. <laughs> 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 but no, but I've got to, oh, I've got a lovely new pepper pot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought there was something different about you tonight. Do, oh, do, do I throw a glow about me? Yeah, you're exuding something. <laughs> it's got an action, Ian, that like you don't hear a grind or mm. you, it just, it just sprinkles out onto your poachies. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So you're, you're living the lockdown dream then? Yeah. Are you still in lockdown, or do you like go out in a disguise and breathe on people? I, I, I I'm locked right down. Wow. And um, but I have been I have been out and done two of a I do a fishing show now on TV yeah. before White House, and we have done a couple of those since they allowed you to go out the house. Really? Yeah. So that how was does... nice. weird meeting people, like being in a group of people again. And how do they do it? Are you all socially distancing, or do you not? What? How does it work? You, yeah, you, I mean, there's only about seven, maybe eight of us on that show. Um, and yeah, you have, you have a, an officer who keeps, you know, barking at you. Distance, distance, keep away, distance. Is White House in your bubble, though? Um, no. Oh. But we, 
this is, and I know we are key workers, you see. Sorry? Isn't that extraordinary? We know we are, but I promise we are actually key, key workers. workers. Wow. That's their workplace. So we're allowed to, to go and do well, it. Well, I think we're supposed to applaud that, aren't we? Thank you. Oh, it's, it's Thursday. <laughs> you know, well Ian, uh, Catherine, what do you think? I've tried maybe 10 separate occasions with members of my family to get a laugh by saying, I went down to Timpsons today and gave the key workers a clap, right? No, you're the same, no response. <laughs> um, I mean, it's... I will prevail. I've got, I've, I've got too much respect for Timpsons to laugh at them. What do you like best about Timpsons? The, I know the, what you like the best. The revolving machine. Their employment policy. They employ um, loads of uh, ex-cons. Did you know that? They're the highest employer of ex-cons yeah. in this country. Which is a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Would you trust them with your keys, though? That's a joke. That's a joke. Of course you wouldn't. No, of course you would. Why? I don't get the. I'm with a danger of stra straying into bad stand-up routine. Why are keys and shoes? Yes. What is the connection that binds them together? I think it's because they both need the attention from that incredible rotating machine that Timpsons have seemed to have plenty of. Yeah. You know because you know, you need to rotate to buff the key up. Do you know that bit, last bit of the process where they've mm. cut it? Yes. And then they chamfer it nice and sweet. And, of course, you need that for the soles of your shoes as well. So they kind yeah. of do go hand in hand, yeah. Did you, can I ask you a personal question? Do you ever walk anywhere without your keys? Uh, probably not. That would involve leaving the back door open, wouldn't it? Which is risky. I don't think so. I think I always have the keys in the pocket, never put yeah. them in the bag. Yeah, they're natural companions, yeah. Did you ever phone our radio show up? Me? Yes, you. No. Okay. Do you want me to say yes? No, I just wondered. We just had a caller once who we it sounded sound, very, yeah. very similar to you. Some people thought it was you. He would talk about fast running. I remember him. You used his to son, listen. His son could run like his the clappers, couldn't nephew, he? Nephew, yeah, it was his nephew. Nephew, yeah. Mm. No, he did. He was from my neck of the woods, yeah. Right, sure. so that's why he sounded similar. Yeah. That's why I sounded Jamaican. <laughs> he would send us videos as well yeah. right. of his nephew running amongst loads of policemen. There was some, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why the police were there, but it was fast. Maybe it's the speeding issue. <laughs> but just to put that to rest, that definitely was not you. How fast must a child have to be for him to need a police escort? <laughs> Dangerously fast. <laughs> really fast. He was a very tall lad as well. <laughs> he was tall lad, yeah. Um, no, I do remember him. Yeah. yeah that's okay. But you, you did used to listen to the show, didn't you? You were. I listen to the show all the time. Yeah. I'm in bed now in my bed, and we sit here, the wife next to her, next to me to be left, to your right, and we listen to listen to the two of you every night, and it's lovely to have you back back on. Who is who is your favourite? Favourite of me, <laughs> out of me, Catherine, and your wife. <laughs> my wife. Oh, okay. okay. Disappointing. It's the wrong look answer. You, well, look at you two with your backs. <laughs> <laughs> What's she got that we haven't? Avoid. <laughs> Are you doing... How come, um, Jim, Vic has met so many murderers? I, I didn't know that he had, has he? Did you not know this? Now this is where you found Oh, I know he's met... Well, he claims to have met Peter Sutcliffe, doesn't he? He served... He made a cup of tea for the Yorkshire Ripper. That's what he reckons. And he also was... Um, Winked at by who was the fella in North London that um, oh um, lived in no, um, not Nutkins. Oh. Not Nutkins. Nutkins was not a murderer. It's not cast aspersions. Um, uh, the, what was the guy used to live in um, Arnos Grove? N yes, I can't. Oh, Nielsen. Nielsen. Harry Dennis Nielsen. Nielsen. Dennis Nielsen. He yeah. was winked at by Dennis Nielsen. He told me once in a pub. Um, no, I think we were in a film studio. Uh, no, but the, Dennis Nielsen was in, the in pub. a pub. Dennis yeah, Nielsen went in, yeah. in a pub. Yeah. Have you ever, ever been flirted with or, or served beverages to any serial killers? No, but you know, I was um, for a period of my life. I was a solicitor, Ian. Mm. I, I, so I've been in the company of some, the company of some crims. I remember once I was outside um, a pub in Peckham, and there was a disco upstairs or whatever, and I was queuing for it. And I was suddenly like separated from my mates, and I had a knife up my throat. Ooh. And um, 
then I looked into this person's eyes and they said, oh, hello, Mr. Mortimer, it's you. <laughs> and it was, a, it was a lad who I'd got off on a number of occasions. Gosh. For muggins. This, this is the thing I don't get about being a solicitor, is that you had to defend people that you knew were guilty. Well, no, no. What? Um, no, you take your instructions, Ian, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not for you to kind of, you know... I suppose, in, in just in, on, a, on a human level, you probably think to yourself, I wonder, but no, you take your instructions. Right. If they say this is what happened, then that's the case you put forward, you know what I mean? You've got such beautiful eyes, I could just drown in them. I could drown in them. I really what, could. But my teeth, the main thing, isn't it? What is that? The, this is the teeth. Where, where did you get them from? Well, <laughs> they're not they, real, are they? they they're not real. But they're, I mean, they're what they're my teeth, but they're, they're, imp, they're implants. Oh, are they under pressure? I could bite through an apple ass bone. With them. <laughs> That's a big bone. If I bite into raw, raw meat with these, yeah, yeah you can hear it weep. <laughs> when did you get them done? I've had them for maybe five years now. Okay, okay. They're titanium. I don't know if you can pick it, I don't know where the microphone is on these computers, but. Oh yeah. They're like sounds like horse clip clopping. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're strong. Yeah, strong, strong teeth. teeth. Yeah, strong teeth. Are you, are you well? Is everything? You're all right though now. Yeah, I'm okay. I've had my shoulders done, and my knee done. I will probably have to have my other knee done. I've got problems down in that private area as well that you spoke of. Okay. Um, but other than that, yeah. Can I ask a question? Because I've noticed we both suffer with a, with a certain affliction. Although, I mean, obviously you always recover with grace and panache. Falling over out of nowhere, what's that about? I don't know what it's about. I try not to think about it, Catherine, because I'm a bit of a worry, to be honest. Yeah. It's just, I don't know whether there's there's something going on in, with me balance, you know, in in the ear mm -hmm. um, or anything like that. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I mean, I think it's when my guard's down. I, I fall a lot in the fishing show because you're generally fishing in the softer areas of the country, you know? Do you know what I mean, though? I mean, I'm not, I, I tend not to fall on pavements or on ice. Right. Because you know. falls a lot. I Catholic fall over all the time, yeah. I fell Did over you? in Tesco's looking at the bread. But if you were on the top of a castle you're visiting, like a National Trust castle, yeah. with stone floors and turrets and that, I bet you wouldn't fall. No, I'd be careful. You'd, you'd have your... You'd be switched on. I, I just fall over when I'm not thinking about it. I think I'm yeah. going forwards and I find myself in a in a heap. Yeah. So. Will you sing us a song? Because my wife would like to hear you sing a song. About what? Is that rude of me to ask? Of course it's not rude. It's, it's well, a great honour. She, she just loves your songs. I think she likes your love can song. You, can you sing an original one? Of course I can sing an original one. This right, is, here we um, go. This is going to be special. Hang on a second. Everyone just... Um... <laughs> Got somebody hold my hand and touch my body. Walking down the street with everybody, the sun is out and I feel love tonight. Everything gonna be alright. Got my baby by my side. When I'm with my baby, you're taking the mickey out of the... Whoa, just give me groove on. Sorry, that was God. excellent. Ian, the wife came through the door and gave a big, solid medieval thumbs up. Am I through to um, boot camp? You're through, you're through to the broom cupboard, yeah. The good work. <laughs> Bob, I love you so much. You've always been so supportive of me. And it was such a thrill when you wrote and said, oh, do you want me to come on your show? And I never forget, I used to do a TV programme years ago. We'll let you go in a minute. But I used to do a TV programme years ago called Rise that no one watched. It was Bre the Big Breakfast replacement. And I thought it was really funny. I thought it was really, really funny. And no one watched it. And we got slagged off. And then they cancelled it. And about two weeks before they cancelled it, you and Jim wrote, you were reviewing some TV shows. And one of them was Rise. And you both went, this is one of the funniest things we've ever seen. Ian Lee looks like a young Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and that, and we were crushed because the whole series was coming to an end and it, you know, it was a big flop. But that 
meant so much to me, man. So thank you so much. It was that. good. It was a really good show. Well, you were really good. It was funny. I don't it know. Was what, great, I yeah. I it was great. It was interesting because I think that those last two weeks, I reckon, when I think you knew it was ending, yeah, were probably eat the best. I think. Yeah. So that's it. there's something to be learned in that, isn't there? <laughs> don't know what that is. Thanks, Bob. Thank nice you for having me. Again. Good luck Stay with all. See ya. Bye. 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 I don't know where that was going. I don't know where that was going. (laughs) That was nice, wasn't it? I love Bob. I didn't get to tell him about my kids watching his fishing show. I mean, my kids are eight and 11, and you wouldn't think that watching two older blokes fishing would be their thing. They found it hilarious. I need to log in. (laughs) 